Welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share a bit of a trick that I use, and this is water fed pole window cleaning related. So, when you get a water fed pole, many of the newer ones, Gardner and various other companies that supply water fed poles and brush combinations, a lot of them now are using what I would call John Guest style fittings. These are a push fit design and on the inside of the collar here there's a very small stainless steel serrated barb that grips your rubber tubing and stops it from coming out. So I've got a rinse bar here just for demonstration purposes and I've also got a spare gardener brush with a quick connect John Guest style fitting on there. The problem um, which has arisen many a times with myself and something that this video is aimed at is when you get these fittings brand new from Gardner, um, when you buy a brand new SLX, CLX pole exam for example, you'll get small like red retainer clips that fit into the shoulders of the quick release fittings which will in turn stop you accidentally pressing the collar here and ejecting your hose. I've had it happen to me many a time when I'm cleaning windows two, three stories up and I've gone in at a slight angle with, because my brush has a swivel on there and I've rotated my pole to move my brush orientation and the top of the gutter, fascia, window frame has clipped the end of the clip here and it's ejected the hose out. I've got water streaming out of the side. My pole's 20 to 30 feet up in the air. I then have to um, loosen my pole, retract my pole back down to ground level, just so I can fiddle around and push the hose back in. And recently I've had it happen where, on three occasions it's happened and it's ejected the red retainer clip out of here and I've lost them and I've not found them and I'm fed up with buying them because they're not cheap when you've got to buy them and then sometimes you buy them they're not the correct size that they're listed as and then you've just wasted more money so a little bit of a trick what I've been using recently which has saved me a lot of heartache and keeping the tube in these clips so with many consumer electronics nowadays and things that you buy you might buy kel, iron, hair straighteners you'll always get some wire rubber plastic coated metal tie wraps that go around cables when you buy a toaster for example i always keep these because the consumer electronics are quite handy for putting wiring together sometimes as well over cable clip uh you know wire tie cable tires for example so with these here i've got two pieces that i've cut about two and a half inches in length because they're quite flat and they haven't been twisted all i've been doing is putting this around the actual shoulder of the quick release fitting on the brush for example i've never had it pop out of the top which is the main feed hose but mainly the sides so with these wire tie wraps they actually fit within the shoulder once you get your brush straight and you can push one of these in like so unfortunately gopros don't focus they're only a fixed format point of view so you'll have to believe what I'm doing. So I've got that in there. Hold it with my fingers. Just pinch it with a pair of pliers. And twist it. So it's like aviation. With aviation mechanics, um, a lot of things like that, you always use like anti-rattle vibration wire to stop things coming loose. So this is pretty much the same principle. So what I've done now is I've added that wire um, tie I just fold those ears back and now that tube will not eject from there which then I can use my brush now without having the fear of the clip flying out and losing the clip and then also the rubber tubing coming out and then having water squirt everywhere while I'm at height. You know so if you keep these and you start collecting these they're quite handy but a very ch cheap and affordable way of solving a problem. So on the, some of the larger John Guest fit, fittings as well, all you're doing, for example, you're sliding it in the groove where the tubing goes. And then because you've put that in there, it acts as a natural hard stop. And then it stops the inner collar releasing and the tube 
coming out like I've said. A very quick and easy tip, something that you can do and anybody else can do. It solved a problem for myself, so I thought I'd share that with other people because we always have a lot of new starters coming into the trade and we've got lots of seasoned professionals, as they like to call themselves, which may experience the same problem and they're looking for a solution. Unfortunately, the smallest of cable ties do not fit, so wire ties that you find within um, your electronics you can also buy them from gardening centers and most bargain shops that have a gardening aisle they actually sell green wire plant ties and you get this on like a 50 meter reel with a cutter as well it's about two or three pounds but if that's something that you're looking for to solve a problem give it a try um it might help you but if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful please subscribe support the channel help it grow Click the bell icon for notifications when new videos are released. Press the um, th thumbs up, give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, give it a dislike. Either way, it helps with the algorithms of YouTube. I'd appreciate it if you could watch the video in full. And also subscribing is absolutely free. You may hear YouTubers mention it, but to subscribe is absolutely free. It doesn't require any of your personal information all it requires for you, the user, to have an active Google account and then you can just subscribe, comment on somebody's video and that interaction, whether how, how small it is, actually helps people like myself for their channels to grow and then when you start to get to a certain number, you get monetization and then you can start making a few pence back if you're extremely lucky, which will help towards the funding and production of your videos. But thank you very much for watching. I'm Austin. Have a nice afternoon.